mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me joshua the high priest standing before the lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebukes you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan i know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this i present to you the mercy of god i present to you the blood of the eternal covenant i present to you the advocacy of jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer i know i've not been a tighter you are authorized to destroy me but see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood you should be destroyed but the blood will speak hear me you live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you but when i see the blood when i see the blood you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in christ when i see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! invoke mercy come on now hallelujah hear me the bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out it can Take it, 
That no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions, and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move, but now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life. Oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7. Please quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations. Chapter 5 verse 7. Our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I have been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State I didn't ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed I exempt myself I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say I begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and the causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God Koinonia you pray alienated every biological disorder every genetic Every 
Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you are carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. It says, with the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, it says, and if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of action. Be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here. 
so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ And Cain said, my punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark, Seketo Shala Kras Katabadiasha, Lebren Tekes Kota Pras Katania, any mark upon your life, upon your business, upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes, keeps attracting scandals, keeps attracting negativism. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that mark be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Any strange sickness in your body, through your blood, that came from ancestry, genotypes, SS, Shakatosia, AS. There's no such reality in the realm of the spirit. That provision does not exist. It's a manipulation from the second heavens. Altering the genetics of men. But right now in the name of Jesus, every blood related issue passed to you by covenant. I blot it out of your body right now. I blot it out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The classic sign of curses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life, you have seen around your finances, you have seen around your work with God, you are up today, down tomorrow, you are serious today, unserious tomorrow, you love the Lord today, you love something else tomorrow, your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow, your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 I announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good. But because of the presence of these embargoes, there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ. There are levels of growth, levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace. And for whatever reason, certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I provoke restoration right now. 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 I pray over your life. 
and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing, the yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now so don't so that let it to set a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire Carry the grace, carry the unction, command deliverance, make environment cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home, your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes and enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus I declare that from now step into a season of joy and laughter step into a season of joy and laughter it says you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy I, I, I call to end the days of sorrow I call to end the days of mourning I appoint unto you a new season of laughter In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward, I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered the grace for visibility. The Bible says 
you are a city that is set on a hill you see one of the ways that god brings honor to you is to give you visibility visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift your grace and your value can be discerned can be engaged and can be rewarded we all need this in our lives there are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility when it was time for jesus to enter into jerusalem he didn't say well i'm king of kings he said bring a donkey i need something that elevates me so that in that exalted position i can have a triumphant entry a triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground it needs to be exalted i prophesy to someone in the name of jesus in this season the supernatural platform that god would have to give your ministry your business to give you multiplied visibility receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus some of you here are in ministry and you love the lord with all your heart but the truth is that the current level of grace you carry you have the work that now is before you you will need a higher level of grace the level of grace that you now have you will not be able to do much our possibilities are governed among many other factors by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us so grace and peace is multiplied i pray for you everyone here who is in the work of the ministry and you are experiencing limitation maybe there's no church growth maybe resources there are no destiny helpers in the name of jesus christ step into a new season of impact I place a grace upon you step into a new season of impact in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for our families we are advocates of the corporate prosperity of both individuals and families because you see if you rise and you are experiencing God alone you are still not free The anointing is coming on this lady, you. Bringing to end everything that is not of the Christ. Listen, do you know, let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit. For every word that I utter, you are just saying amen. But you see, this is what happens. Every word, the sound you see, enters your ears and stops there. But the anointing, that is on the sound rests on your head and begins to make your life are you seeing that now it makes your life to respond in a way and manner that must make that prophetic word come to pass so don't just shout amen like you do to a preacher what is happening is that there are layers and layers of spiritual things on your head layers so when you leave you are living with layers of possibilities and you find out that things begin to shift in your life this gentleman i don't know who you are come your life is about to change stand up where are you coming from from taraba god will use you greatly take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same pick him up in the name of jesus serve god with sincerity serve god with integrity bring him closer there is something he's receiving i impart upon you the grace for signs and wonders multiplied influence visibility in the name of jesus christ go and do exploits for the kingdom this lady come run come receive that grace it will turn you into a sign and a wonder i ignite that prophetic fire within your spirit receive of that grace you will never be the same never be the same signs and wonders and uncommon ministry in the name of jesus christ Nobody like you, Lord. 
Nobody like you know. that has refused to shift over your life and your destiny in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over you that mountain be taken from off you right now that mountain be taken from off you right now let me pray over your finances do you know why because there is something lack of resources can do to your focus and your concentration are we together now is a cost to spend your life looking for money there are things you will not be able to do for the kingdom i know some of you are trusting god for jobs i know some of you are trusting god for all kinds of liftings but hear me hear me god put the apostolic and the prophetic the realm of the spirit is an advantage to your pursuit so that there are occurrences that happen at the instance of intellect there are occurrences that happen at the instance of time there are occurrences that happen at the instance of your value but there are occurrences that happen at the instance of the prophetic in the name of jesus i declare god who has helped me god who has helped this ministry i cry unto god who is called ebenezer receive supernatural financial favor supernatural financial favor i open up doors for you in the spirit i open up doors for you doors of opportunity doors of favor may god connect you to people connect you to platforms connect you to opportunities for your lifting in the name of jesus christ hear me i truly speak over your life by the spirit of grace between now and the end of i elevate you to a higher dimension financially hallelujah let me pray for your spiritual life you see listen hold on no matter what you do right if your spiritual life goes wrong your life is wrong did you hear what i said no matter whether you are prospering getting jobs having children if your work with god goes wrong the result is that your entire destiny is wrong i'm about to pray for your spiritual life some of you love the lord but many things have happened around your life your spiritual life your fire may not be the way it used to be your hunger may not be the way it used to be your zeal for the house of god may not be the way it used to be that lady near the door the hand of god is coming on her that's right i want to pray for you that the fire upon your altar will not go down father every spirit of lukewarmness prayerlessness wordlessness i crush that spirit now receive fresh hunger for the things of god fresh hunger for the things of god fresh passion for spiritual things may your prayer fire multiply now the grace to pray the grace to fast the grace to intercede receive it in the name of jesus the grace to sit down and study the grace to sit down and study receive that grace in the name of jesus hear me every wrong association and wrong relationship that will not promote your spiritual health i cut you away from it now let me pray for those trusting god for jobs if you are here and you are trusting god for a job my god i pray that you will honor this word in the name that is above all names 
prophetically we shift systems and structures and we create space for you help them please we shift systems and structures in the name of jesus christ every dying business here you are losing you are not prospering you are discouraged in the name of jesus whatever it is that you are involved with i give it life in the name of jesus let me pray for students undergraduate postgraduate in the name of jesus the spirit of excellence the grace that makes for extraordinary academic achievements receive that grace in the name of jesus receive that grace in the name of jesus receive that grace in the name of jesus retentive memory exceptional spirit in the name of jesus christ listen in the name of jesus supernatural understanding i release it upon you supernatural understanding all those who are students trusting god for accommodation trusting god for a destiny helper to help you you don't have to go around living your life go around meeting men meeting women because you are trying to raise money for accommodation i pray for you may the mercy of god open up strange doors for you i pray for everyone here who has a project on ground whether building project whatever kind of project you are on the hand of zerubbabel that began that work i decree and declare that same hand will complete it receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of jesus christ the spirit of kidnapping where someone just leaves his house and all of a sudden people just come and carry them take them somewhere and now are asking for evil people asking for ransom money that if the family had they will use it to build a house or do something productive please hear the prayer one of the blessings of the prophetic is to establish the security that is in christ it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you that with your eyes shall you see and behold even the reward of the wicked i pray for you any gang up against you and your loved ones in the afternoon in the morning in the night whether through acts of terrorism whether through the sword in the air on land in the name of jesus it is averted forever averted forever and i declare over your life hear me i declare over your life anyone who will not let you rest in this season the bible says the lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means i declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of jesus christ An age-long captivity can melt overnight. I'm hearing a horn. Really, sincerely, sir. I'm hearing like a horn, like a shofar blowing. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. And you see, in the Bible, every time a shofar blows, is announcing a new season. I'm, I'm telling you this. Believe what I'm saying. This is a prophetic word. I stand by the spirit of grace. And I'm telling you that a new season... A new season the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace I'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the Spirit of grace I'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body you see I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of god's grace
sir would you be embarrassed if i talk to you i'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what i'm seeing a door what do you have to do with music i'm seeing a door this was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years and the lord is saying here i'm opening it again this is what i'm saying you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace Celebrate the God of wonders. Mighty things are about to happen here. Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. Hallelujah. I assure you that if it's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today, by the God that I serve. Honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray a prayer and I want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please Please, whether you are an usher or not, my goodness, my goodness, please help them. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, we release favor. We release favor. We release favor. Open your mouth and begin to pray. As they come out, open your mouth, begin to decree. Favor. In the name of Jesus, please bring them out. Favor. Kali katos kebrende kata favor by the supernatural hand of God bring them out we're praying now I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that I will, I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women 
there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 
please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people i'm seeing some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season the borders are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door Ephata, be open hidden tita Ephata, be open hidden tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 
and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ the bible says and i will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one I stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of Jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown 
that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ let me pray a prayer that god is putting in my heart i hope you don't see it as carnal there are people here the grace for territory is not yet on you you've been in this city for a long time but it looks like you have not gotten your own place i want to shift you by prophecy standing in partnership with the man of god you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space i prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space i give you your own portion in this city in this land in in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with God I know that but I want you to agree with God and say Lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year I tell you if, you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shabata. Open strange doors. 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 Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. cancer be healed let that HIV be healed let that barrenness be broken let that take in having a child already in a womb hallelujah hallelujah everyone shout his self time in the name of Jesus I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed a sign to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes Spirits, ordinances written in the heavenlies, projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. take one more prayer point i want us to release the ministry of angels listen the bible says are they not ministering spirits let me tell you hear me angels are real 
I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious. Lift your voice and pray. I release their ministry. But let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations. It's not that they are not there. The obstacles are there. But God's word does not explain. It creates. God will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand. Don't be stupid and say, God, how will it happen? Who do I know? Blessed is she that believes. He said, for unto her there shall be a performance. Fear of death. Listen. Fear of failure. Fear of not having the money to feed yourself. Do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things? You are afraid before you know it, you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket. The 10,000 finishes, you sell your trouser. People sell all kinds of things. People have converted and have left God because of fear. In the name of Jesus, I challenge the spirit of fear over my life, over my family, over my loved ones, over Koinonia. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are banished from my life forever. Lift your voice and pray. There's no fear. There's no fear. I refuse to fear. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, Koinonia, you pray tonight. Don't look around. Pray. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Fear of marriage. Fear of children. Satan in the name of Jesus. Father, every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened, I want you to know that I still believe you. And I agree with you 
I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business, prosper my ministry. I still believe. lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need I pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from Je I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. But you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction. The unction that teaches men things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft, any kind of sickness. Right now as I stand here, in the name that is above all names, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through. Help them please. May the fire of the Holy Ghost my God, I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost 
touch through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent, they are symbolic of your productivity. When the hands of Samson were tied, he could not do anything. I pray for these hands. May God teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of Jesus. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go. May God show you the mysteries. May he show you in the name of Jesus. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. Pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat, go down flat, financial walls, go down flat, career walls, go down flat. In the name of Jesus. And the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you. To come out from where you are. To where you need to go to. The gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter. I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. He says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for all 
honor and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness I stand by the God of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust God it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around I'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. 
Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice, the grace and the wings of the Spirit that will take you to dimensions untold. May that grace rest upon you. I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory if we speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be open in the name of Jesus Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete lato sabadi adata. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesied by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Not one fold. Not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized. Any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service here or whatever, 
I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. A new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting. A new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS. AS. We change your genotype. In the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. It is time for the new anointing. Cut up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you by the Spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me, move forward. Go forward. No more stagnation. In ministry, enter your place of anointing. Enter your place of rest. Enter it. I bless you inside it. 
I take you into the mantle of your life. The prophetic oil of your life. I release it. Move forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you. Every Egyptian you see today. You are the one who knows the Egyptian. So lift your hands with faith in your spirit. Everything called an Egyptian. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives. Once and for all. Bye bye to them forever. Bye bye to them forever. In your family. Bye bye to them. Bye bye to them. I release signs. Wonders. I release miracles. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. From the depth of my heart. According to the order of grace. We take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today. In the name that is above all names. I command it to multiply. This is what I'm demonstrating to you. What I saw in the spirit. That God is connecting you. To the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the lord take you where your gift will be needed may the lord take you where your gift i command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives. Between today and the next 21 days. You will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, Three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four. Five. Six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it! Fire! The prophetic, the apostolic, the evangelistic, teaching mantles, pastoral graces, leadership, entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit.
where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it say in the name of jesus say it in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the authority of the lord jesus christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the lord i cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit, I cast every devil, I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. married also pray for your family pray for your children i cast every devil
the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command, I command that spirit to go help them right now. Any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors. Shabakato, shabaratata, Inside, outside, I command deliverance now. I command deliverance now. Let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leaving people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can see anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this oppression. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. Shata shota ba shata yasa. Embra kato sabaro kato shakete balakaya. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit, go now. I cost that spirit now. There is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in, in the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven, in the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven, we open every barren womb, in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Shakatos, Empranta, Right now, in the 
Eskamara Kaposkaba, Satia, 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 Sekene Kosa, Branka Poskarikata. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare from the realm of the Spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow, right now at the count of three, I declare that spirit must let you go. One, two, three, let them go now. Let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. is showing me something I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear and the Lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life I'm not saying you waste it you can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you, you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady I'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain uncontrollable in the name of Jesus Everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, 
a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that so i don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare all oh, death where is thy sting all oh, grave where is thy victory i prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. Hallelujah. Just, just let me just talk about two issues. I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady. But every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like, it's like, um, it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter. It's a demonic thing that I have to pray for you for. A very demonic thing. I'm seeing like smoke. This is strange. And then it is it's just like moving around in the air. Wherever those groups of people are, I don't believe it's just one person. It's an operation of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free from that demonic siege now. Be free from that demonic siege now. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming. Physically, physical, like you are seeing me like this, appeared to you and was having a conversation with you. Appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation, your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness
sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern I say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit my God I'm seeing a sword right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them Jesus look at what is happening there in the name of Jesus you know my voice I was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God I declare right now in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of Jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie in the name of Jesus fire I'm seeing fire that's what I'm seeing from heaven I'm praying for you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. voice speaking against everyone's destiny the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible says he nailed it to the cross i declare and i decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the father i cause every power that is not of god in the name of jesus christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual, over every family. I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Let me pray for you. Everything that must enter your hand, the open doors, that the blood of Christ release. Help them please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit. God has shown you dreams. That you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children. Your breakthrough. Your lifting. Your speed. Your job. Your marriage. In the name of Jesus. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you. There are many of us who have lost things. Some you have lost time. Masha Makata. Leko Tot Kabata. Joshua said, Son, go back. Move. Go back. I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy as one sent in 
the name that is above all names, everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said. Please don't take casual this opportunity. We are operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare. Receive by faith. In the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive ble blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus. Receive ease. Hallelujah. I'd like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously. You are going to make decrees. You are not talking to God. You are talking to your destiny. You are talking to your life. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and make decrees. Lift up your heads. Oh ye gates. Lift up your head. I command close doors. Open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors to open. That no man will shock. I decree and declare. My path is as a shining light. It shines brighter. It shines brighter unto the perfect day. I declare and declare. I shall not die. I live. I choose life. I choose life. I reject death. Not by accident. Not by the sword. God is a with favor. Like a shield, God is a with favor. Like a shield, in the name of Jesus, I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place. And great be the comfort of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria, in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything 
here I do prosper in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. So no failure in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the naked. Halabaratu Zagabaratu Zeneka and Tekelebaratu Sabaratu Zubahasa and Telegrando Sadabaru Sedias Krabagabaruda Sigeparu Dizias and Glatu Sapradabaratu Ziatesh. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Agree with me in the name of Jesus. And the apostle says, Lord, behold their threatenings. And we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. He said, Behold their threatenings. Respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. Father, we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints. They have robbed you of glory. And Lord, we bring them under judgment. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, I stand in agreement with every grace within this house. And we decree and prophesy that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, you see them no more forever. These Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus, you see them no more forever. My Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, He said, we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and they said among the hidden, the Lord hath done great things for us. He says, the Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then He says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. We decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here, let it be turned like the streams of the south. The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. When no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time, their credibility, their reputation, their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life. Hear me. The diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor. It's not yet at work in your life. One more time I pray in the name of Jesus. The favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace. May it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, I declare the wisdom that comes from above, the wisdom, the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints. May that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight. Hallelujah. 
the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not God the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for Joseph not God there are men who can help men all blessings come from God through men to men I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord I pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression I give it life right now in the name of Jesus can I pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the Lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house I pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of God <laughs> hallelujah Acts chapter 12 the Bible says on account of the gospel Peter was caught after James was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the Bible says and then it says that the angel of the Lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led Peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the Bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate open and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cuts the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression I speak to it a father be open be open be open be open in the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm I say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly <laughs> Everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion I stand by the God of heaven and I shift you to the next level and everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead 
and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead Harusa baranda sibeta. in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday and I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life. Be it marriage, be it whatever. You are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight May you hear the voice of His Majesty. I pray for everybody here who is experiencing stagnation. You are marking time and instead of you to make progress, you are not moving. By extension to every family. In the name that is above all names. The Lord told Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to move forward. I prophesy over your destiny. Move forward now. Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Man Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you up.
above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you. Manto kaparata lekata. So From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them, please. So that they don't preach. Be distinguished now. Sekete pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me, there's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle. And he said, why standeth ye idle? And they say, no man employ us. He told them, go to the vine. When God speaks, there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever your job is. I don't care what the limiting factors are. There is a superior advantage because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny helpers. Wherever you need to be called, wherever your CV is, I provoke a miracle job now. 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 Now, hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place, I declare to you according to the word of the Lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child i speak it i establish it in the spirit zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah, so that no man will lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names. The Lord told me he will bring breakthrough. I want to prophesy it now. now. Whatever has limited you, whatever has limited your family, right now in the name that is above all names, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command every limitation be broken now. Limitations be broken now. Limitations. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names, see Kataba Ladaba. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny helpers. 
in the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death all earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here man
Rando Kasike de Bakadata Rakato Bosco Brindiki de Balal. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names, I command be free from it now. 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 now. Therefore, I release upon you the spirit of excellence. Receive the spirit of excellence on common speed, academic exploits in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For every ministry, every business, everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names, like the dry bones in the valley of Ezekiel. I command life to it now. I command life now. I command life now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command life now. Hallelujah. Everyone in ministry in this place. I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of Jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of Jesus now lift up your hands I want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone here who is trusting God and is saying, Lord, restore. Everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying, Lord, if there was a way I can turn the hands of time, I prophesy to you. There is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names 
may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you Father in the name of Jesus Christ we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three I just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming I see it marriage is coming I see it admission admission jump jump request why someone wants to get married before December I see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the peer parlor the angel of the Lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh god i speak right now let I every prayer like request so coming yeah. on my head and for those streaming online i change it to be testimonies now everybody stand. in the name of jesus please everybody stand. i speak to you i speak to you prayer request believe in the lord and that and which is established, established will share the fault believe in his prophets become testimonies and, you shall and be delivered for god's people in the name of jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give god thanks it is done hallelujah please as i speak i want you to believe it i want you to receive it while i pray the lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as i speak the angels of the lord will begin to move to the areas that i'm speaking all i need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to hallelujah every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go hiv die 
H I D Y S S change to A A S S change to A A A S change to A A Every blood disease go 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 Every blood disease go now Go now My grand headache go now Go now Fibroid go now Go now Peptic ulcer be gone right now Be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now Every eye problem be gone now. Deafness in the ears go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray. Any devil that has said, has said your family members will not see it. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay or any kind of delay. At the count of three, yokes and causes of delay become one, two, three. Go, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from that is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now catch fire catch fire now every altar every altar catch fire catch fire now every altar against any family catch fire now Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me, whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. 
I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Second of the Be lifted now. Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians. But you have struggled with habits. Masturbation. Pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved ones. Right now I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now, 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 now. Anyone here looking for a job, or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now, let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you. May that anointing hit you now. Take it! Take it! Command miracle jobs, miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business, or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it doeth prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here. Grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem. Because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem. Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three. Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families, 
be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray. Those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life. Right now, wherever they are. Destiny help us. I call you into the life of God's people. Wine pressers and bakers, show forth, come forth. And he went to the tomb of Lazarus, and Lazarus was dead four days. And he called him forth right now. Whatever is dead in your life and your family, I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead i command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now hallelujah i release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored i pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it, take it, take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you, wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of jesus any member of your family that is not born again i pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hard they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of god must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Mante la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Lift your hands at the count of three. I like us to shout that name that is above every other name. I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone 
and every family under any spell. Bring them out, ushers. Every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names, I speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus that every power, every witchcraft that has kept God's people down, you must go now at the count of three, shout that name. One, two, get ready now. Three, go press the day. Now, now, I command those powers. I command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now marco pocotos and break it today soto prosketa in the name of jesus i command judgment judgment every altar every yoke outside there are angels moving outside there are angels with mighty sword outside Makata press, so bold again, No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete, so to kota, mante brakata. Orekete, brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want those outside to shout that name Jesus. And there are people, I see chains, chains around people. At the count of three, those outside, the Holy Ghost is going to visit families. There is fire that will fall outside. Are you ready now, those outside? One, two, three. I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strength wisdom coming from heaven strength wisdom Coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but it stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration
Malakato praska de beka shefra kika sabra kada malaraba. Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, oh God, as will please you. Let this baptism of this function for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, O oh God. Believe me, let it come on them, O oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you are going to begin to feel fire from your feet. Rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire. Fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Separo dosso koto baria, lekete koto so preska la bariata, zabrate soto preska koto. Strange fire, I see strange fire rising from the feet, rise on top from the feet, rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire, revival fire, supernatural unction. Supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy. It will surprise you. You will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place. The Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce Himself to certain people. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Find them. Find them tonight. Find rest in them. Where are these men and women? Where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Take it, take it, take it. Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Arados 
Supracatiza la curiata. Aleluya. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use, I want you to lift it up. So many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit. There's someone at the media stand. The Lord is lifting that person to the next level. I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand. Stepping up. Let them enter, oh God. Right now. Let them enter into that realm. That dimension. Somebody at the media stand. The Lord is it's like an initiation into a dimension. Into a dimension. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19 says, handkerchiefs and aprons. Handkerchiefs and aprons. I've explained to you the mystery behind these results. No man can speak over your life and you just have results like that. It, it doesn't happen that way. I'm about to speak over your points of contact. If you don't have anything, you are the point of contact yourself. Are we together? Many of you will be surprised. Believe me. Believe me. Many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen. We are talking about the Holy Spirit here. We are not just talking about an anointed man. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. His anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life. And you see grace speaking for you. Grace speaking for you. Lift it up, you can lift your hands. to speak now in the name that is above all names I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now let a a grace the power of performance that makes things to work I release it right now upon that instrument I release it upon your documents I release it upon your pictures I release it upon your certificates I release it upon your proposals Hear me Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact I give life to it now In the name of Jesus Christ And I decree and declare By the power of the Holy Spirit A dimension of results you have never seen Begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here Hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue Everyone here in business, any kind of godly business, I stretch my hands. Enter a level of rest now. Believe what I'm praying for you. I bring you into a dimension of rest now. Every troubled family here, all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble, to fight, to quarrel, in the name of Jesus, I introduce an anointing to that family. And I command, let there be peace right now. 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 Every troubled family, let there be peace right now. There are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency. I speak to you. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. In the name of Jesus Christ. In dreams and visions may his will be made known to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus 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 every veil of this favor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare, may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from God. Please believe me. I say it again, between now and the next seven days, I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies. It doesn't take time. It takes his anointing. Everything that your hands have done and it did not work. I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer. I command today become a result producer. Become a result producer. Become a proof producer. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every pending issue over your life. Every pending issue. Any kind of pending issue. Right now. Issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit. And will not be resolved. I decree and declare. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, shake it out here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of man strange encounters Strange encounters, mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough. Everything that has died in your hands and in your life, hear the word of the Lord. I command it to come back to life now. I want to pray. Please drop your hands. Just the brothers, lift your hands. I want to release upon you grace for establishment. Listen. If you are wise, you will pay attention to what I'm saying. There is a grace that establishes men. Are we together now? Establishment is where you gain stability in life. Financially. Are we together? Relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of Jesus, I pray for every brother here. The grace and the unction 
that turns weak men into great men. The grace and the unction that establishes men financially, ministerially, career-wise, and in purpose at the count of three. In the name of Jesus Christ, whose I am and whom I serve, I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now upon you. I command that grace. There is a gentleman outside. That grace is coming upon him in a mighty way. Take that grace right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life. Help us come to support you to gain your footing in life. It's not just by growing old. There is a grace. You don't have to pay for everything by yourself. There is a grace that sends help us to your life, to your ministry. Establishment is a mystery in the spirit. You can have a thing, but when you are established, you are, you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others. There are many people who are experiencing finances here, but they are not established. You are established means you can bless others without being affected. Established in wisdom. Your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child. The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness, barrenness, barrenness. It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause, is the cause of hardship. The classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I command your desert to become a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus, I command your fruitful vine to become a forest. I say it again in the name of Jesus, I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you. Just one thing. Lift your voice and pray. I'm releasing my faith with you. Please pray. One minute. Ask the Lord and watch it happen. I release my faith with you. In the name of Jesus. I release my faith with you. Ask the Lord. Don't say it is impossible. We are talking about the God of heaven here. We are talking about the spirit of the living God. What you see is the ministry of the spirit. The ministry of the spirit. Ask what you will. And it will be granted unto you by the spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing. Change my life. Just one thing. Give me laughter. Just one thing. Answer my marriage. Just one thing. Give me a child. Just one thing. Settle me financially. Just one thing. Multiply your grace on my life. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is, may the God of all flesh, the God of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind, I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ.
you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit like a presence walking literally literally I mean what I'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave his physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like Benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your place and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts untouchable by armed robbers in the name of jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ it is not of him that willeth the bible says it is also not of him that runneth you can have the ability to run you can have the creativity to run the bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but it is of the lord that showeth mercy intention is not enough desire is not enough you can make your plans i want to be great i want to build a house i want to start a great ministry your desire can only take you so far it is not of him that will it it is not of him 
that run it everyone who is in ministry will tell you that they started ministry with several people who till today still have a desire but desire is not enough the vicissitudes of life will beat your desire to death if that is the only thing you have there are people who desire to build there are people who desire to have children there are people who desire to have things that are worth their living but desire is not enough it takes the mercy of God behind every strange result is the mercy of God supported by his jealousy backing men producing extraordinary inexplainable results we're still praying there is a serious impartation that God is doing very serious impartation that God is doing Harado shalandas kabari katusha siata haskaba manda libra akosha ziza na haskaba ratu zedeketiash krapado zadekai I'm seeing fire just falling on people God is not telling me what is for what I'm seeing fire is a very strange wind this is an ignition in the spirit please also bring them out if we can in the name of Jesus fire I'm seeing the number eleven eleven people there is a fire from this altar that is resting upon them for various reasons some is ministerial fire God jacking you back to the call you have been running away from God is saying I've been calling you God is saying I've been anointing you what is keeping you from that hunger that passion a restoration of that spiritual fire in your homes that fire from household of david coming upon you igniting you setting you ablaze fanning that desire once again the mercy of God it is not of him that willeth listen do not let your pride make you remain defeated in life it takes more than desire to rise there are many sincere people who will the will of man is powerful but the will of man is limited the Lord is releasing a grace that is bringing multiplication over the works of people's hands and I'm seeing fire come on people's hands right now as I'm praying some of you you are jobless now but as that fire comes on your hand something strange begins to happen some of you have businesses that have refused to hear the word of the lord i bring you again by the spirit the ministry of the spirit i release you by the mercy of god everything that is of your hand i command it to begin to walk everything that is of your hand hear the word of the lord your endeavors ministry business let it be blessed carrying the fire that burns away delay that burns away every chaff hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing what i saw with samson in the bible i'm seeing someone's hair just grow back i know it doesn't mean physical hair because your hair is a symbol of your glory and by this i believe god is saying no matter what you've lost dimensions in the spirit you once walked in and something happened in your life prayer dimensions dimensions of power you walked in dimensions of grace at the count of three like a tornado may that wind sweep away everything that looks like limitation one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire i ignite you 
like it happened to Samson step into a new dimension like it happened to Samson here at household of David speaking to the nations return in power return in grace return with the energizing of the spirit no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wrong you will kick down now you won't stay down coming up me. there's no shadow you will light up no shadow you will light up mountain you won't climb up I just saw a miracle happen to someone you have a lump on your breast but check it now check it now you will find out that the power of God has touched you I just saw this in a vision in the name of Jesus Christ you call it the wind of mercy it's, it's not just the name of a program it's an experience that should bring you into a superior dimension of spiritual conviction hallelujah who is jennifer jennifer i'm hearing a name jennifer is there someone with that name jennifer we, we have to just be very fast i'm hearing jennifer and the lord is bringing restoration to the family of jennifer this is what i'm hearing in the spirit in the name of jesus we speak it we declare it by the spirit of god by the spirit of god there is someone you are sitting on a chair now you are watching from kenya you are following from kenya you are a woman your son is sitting by your side in the name of jesus i decree and declare that god is bringing supernatural restoration to that family from kenya you are watching you're following from kenya your son is sitting by your side i bring you the power of the spirit right now in the name of jesus we command seasons of dryness to come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ comes to an end now there is a family God wants to deliver from the spirit of death and the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon that two people with a loud shout sometimes you, you see that God does these things please I want you to bring them I need to rebuke the spirit of death because I'm seeing between now and December I'm seeing obituary but not when the mercy of God is here bring them out a loud shout the Spirit of God is coming upon two of them they don't even know you see brothers and sisters the ministry of the Spirit comes to the root of the issues in your life and solves it once and for all you don't destroy a tree by removing the leaves when you cut it from the root now some of these families you are seeing I'm not a prophet of doom but you just sit down and hear that somebody has just died no this is where the ministry of the hearing ear and the seeing eye becomes a blessing to the body oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory I come in the name of Jesus and I declare now I command by the spirit the plague of death that should happen to this family between now and December in the name of Jesus by the spirit of life we declare it cancelled forever come on household of David agree with me cancelled forever cancelled forever cancelled forever in the name of Jesus Godwin Godwin I'm hearing a name Godwin who is that Godwin I'm hearing your name is Godwin you are wearing like a jacket something that looks greenish with a jacket with a zip or something like that who is that what's your name Godwin stand up my friend no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me what do you do my friend this man yes 
you are a student you love jesus please come and stand here i don't know who this gentleman is what's your name hold on ah, I'm looking at this man and the Lord is telling me to ask you the name of the person who spoke to Abraham in the Bible someone who spoke to Abraham he was a priest not melchizedek when he was i think when he was going to go and get a, a wife for isaac that was eliezer right who was eliezer huh the huh the servant abraham's servant what's your name eliezer that's what i'm saying i'm just sharing with you what i'm seeing My friend, God is going to use you mightily. You hear what? I don't know you from anywhere. Huh? God is going... Where are you from? Huh? You are Igbo. There is... God is going to use you to tear down altars. You see what I'm telling you? Your family is in real trouble. And God is raising you to be a very strong voice. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for power with God in the spirit. May that grace rest upon you. That you will never forget this conference at Household of David. I impart that grace right now upon you. Receive that anointing. Step into new dimensions in the spirit. You will never be small. You will never be small. I empower you with the grace of God. Go and do exploits. Tear down the altars of Baal that continue to frustrate people within your vicinity. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend. What's your name? I can't even remember what I said. Godwin. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. Uyo, right? Huh? You are from Uyo? I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing the Lord saying that he's showing mercy. Where's your mother? Huh? Tell mama that the month of October is a strange month of breakthrough for this family. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit, may that grace rest upon you, rest upon your mother, in the name of Jesus Christ. Rest upon your mother. You are here. You had the dream of this conference. This, the dream of this conference. You had it a few days ago. This is what the Lord is telling me. Who is that person? You had it like a dream. Don't tell lies. So we're in the presence of Jesus Christ. You had a dream where they were ministering in this conference, and that it was a revelation that came. Um, well, wherever that person is, the Lord wants to do something in your life that you saw being done to you in the dream. This is this is why i'm asking you see sometimes spiritual things i'm not in your room talk you had a dream you you had a dream this morning what time did you have the dream and you saw you saw us ministering in the morning where are you you are a member in this church you saw the, a dream and that's what brought you here i actually registered for the program sir this morning i saw it and I saw that the post, I knew this church used to be somewhere around Allen Avenue side. So I saw that as I was heading there, they now directed me that uh, they have moved from this place. So I said, I didn't know, but this is the program I'm going for. That's what brought you and here. That's what brought me Lift here. your hands. In the name of Jesus, I don't know you, but I pray for you, my friend. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the grace that must move you from where you are to where you need to be. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may that grace rest upon you now. Help him. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus. Who is this guy? Hold on. Where are you from? What do you do? You are a pastor. You are about to step into a new dimension in ministry. You didn't come alone. Who did you come with? You came alone? Because I'm seeing, I'm okay. I'm seeing a woman standing by your side. Are you married? Where is she? There is an impartation that that woman is supposed to receive. But, well, um, let her follow as she's watching her. Huh? You, you receive your own. What, what church? Your, your church, your ministry? Christ Ambassador's Ministry. 
that's the name of your ministry you believe in the anointing you believe in impartation lift your hands i shift you by the spirit the limitations you've had in ministry let it dry up now in the name of jesus step into new levels of possibilities and i release this same grace for your wife in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ In the mighty name of jesus christ my dear who's this lady where are you from because i'm seeing something connecting me and you huh what's your state huh from jaws no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming up today to pastor shola's wife and let her lay hands and pray on you just go and do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus christ i like you to pray everything that has challenged you from january till now i'm releasing my faith with you open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of jesus we release our faith here this mountain before zerubbabel you shall become plain is someone lifting their voice to pray Father, at this wind of mercy conference. Lift your voice and pray. You are in church. You are in church. Be serious. Let's pray. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm hearing in my spirit the cry of a baby that means someone who is barren is about to rejoice I'm hearing the cry of a baby this is what this is what I'm hearing 
and of course i'm i'm just going to pray but it seems to me like there, there is a particular person here that came trusting god for the fruit of the womb the fruit of the womb the fruit of the womb please who is that person is there someone like that is there someone like that hold on i know there are people who well come you're the one come and stand help her please the presence of god is mighty my dear rejoice you will stand on this altar with your your baby in the presence of everyone the bible says children are a heritage from the lord you see when 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 a miracle meeting is happening like this take your mind away from report and some of if if you allow those things they will plant unbelief in your life there is another system of routing possibilities my dear stand up don't cry he said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed he is worthy to open the book and to unlock the scrolls you are a member in this church come where are you coming from you mean the church no no not church weird location Oh, Lagos, yeah. Yes. You are not a member of this church. No, I'm not. But you believe in what God is going to do? I certainly do. You came alone? No. Are you married? Yeah. Where's your husband? Husband. This God, eh? This God is a mighty God, though. Let me tell you the truth. Sir. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? You believe he will do a miracle for you? How long have you been married? Five years now. Hmm. Was it a boy or a girl you saw in your dream? Triplets. Huh? Triplets. Huh? Triplets. Triplets. <laughs> I didn't say what do you want to. <laughs> Remember, there's a difference between what you want, your desire. And what you saw in the dream my dear stand up let's pray i hope you don't mistaken what you are doing for pride nobody has the power in himself to work this out however with god with god that when the spirit of god empowers you you cease to be normal you cease to be a pure human being the same way people meet with spirits and no longer become you may have a normal flesh but don't be mistaken there is a depth of power that supports this thing that we do sir look at me my first prayer is not even for fruit of the womb my first prayer, what do you do I'm a trader. I'm a trader, sir. I want to I want to pray for you between now and November write it down the way you will so shift People will even think you went to collect a charm. I, I don't know why people think that God cannot lift people. Let me tell you, the prophetic is powerful. Just because it has been abused does not mean that there is no power in it. That when you meet the grace sent to you, by this time tomorrow, the prophet said, I speak to you, sir, in the name of Jesus here at House of David. I release you within now and November step into strange dimensions of possibilities and for you my dear lay your hands on your womb in the name of Jesus father you are the one who gives children we are praying for this woman in the open I don't care what the medical report is in the name that is above all names according to the time of life like Eli spoke to her I declare carry your children carry your children I change what needs to be changed I remove what needs to be removed in the name of Jesus and by the spirit of grace we release you I pray for the other woman help this woman I cast the spirit responsible for barrenness I'm seeing like a chain around her womb area this one on the floor in the name of Jesus I rebuke that devil I rebuke that devil Two of you will be a sign and a wonder to yourselves in the name of Jesus my dear you are going to have a baby boy this one on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ shout Jesus
Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. They call you Buki, Bukola. Where are you coming from? You are, you are a member of this church? You, you came for this conference. Your life is about to change, yeah? What do you do? Huh? What are you doing with injection? I'm seeing you hold injection. Help her with a mic. It's not working. You are a nurse. I'm seeing you hold injection. That's what I'm saying. I hope I hope there's someone who knows her so that you don't go around saying people are are cooking up. Huh? Okay, you're a member of this church. Okay. I want to pray for you. Where you are walking, soon you are going to live there. To an, what do you do? Are you walking? Yes, sir. Where? Um, a private hospital. I'm seeing you live there to a higher place. God is lifting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Greater pay, greater conditions. This thing will surprise you. I stand upon the grace of your pastor and we release you into that dimension. I release you into that prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you into that prophecy. God will start giving you dreams. This lady on white, there is a grace coming on you. You will start seeing things in dreams. And as you see them, they will happen the way you have seen it. It's a dimension of the revelatory grace. I lay my hands upon you and I release you into that dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will step into that level. By the Spirit of God, you will step into that dimension. You will never, never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. And my dear, for you I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everything that is time your progress, I release you now. I release you from it. You are a very sincere lady, but I'm seeing a lot of things tie your progress. I release you from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who it is, but the Lord is saying, you're not going to use your money to pay the rent. I don't know, this is not making sense to me, but I'm saying it. The Lord is saying, you will not use your money to pay the rent. What you will use for the rent is coming. It is not going to be from your savings and your resources. I release that word for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release that. Why, why is she out? No, no, you don't have to come out. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You, you pay God will pay your rent in Jesus name let, let her go back if I don't ask you to come out you don't have to come out huh in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know what has stood before you and has refused to let you move I sense that God wants to move people right now I hope I'm not wasting your time in the name of Jesus lift your voice say father shout it again say father I decree and declare by your mercy every obstacle standing before me let the wind of mercy blow it out of my way lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray online pray everywhere pray let it be from the depth of your heart Let the wind of mercy blow it away. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Can I talk to you? Please stand up. Stand up. We are, we are men. Please stand up. Where are you coming from? 
What's wrong with your wife? She had five, five, five and she lost two baby. Oh, just don't worry. I want to pray for you. Madam, you believe in Jesus? As surely as the Lord lives. You hear what I'm telling you? Two children went miscarriage. My two children. We lost one just last month here. Oh my God. After three months. Look at this. Just to tell us that there we got to know this program so don't, don't cry how did, how did you get to know about this program she was playing with her phone she was playing with her phone she saw this all the information and I registered her and myself and I told her that we must be here today listen do you know the blessing that you bring to families when you invite people to church it's not just that you are trying to look at this look at this family look at this family look at a, 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 a woman who has come with her husband madam look at me please don't cry sir when you see a matured man crying with his wife this they are not, they are not acting remember what i taught you put yourself in people's shoes you know what it last last month your son died your child your daughter yes. please cheer up listen hold on before we minister to them i think we need to comfort them you just lost a child one month ago listen it's okay we're, we're, we're bringing you the comfort of the spirit listen I stand on behalf of Pastor Shola and the body of Christ to let you know that we love you. Do not think it is lack of your faith walking and do not think that God is not faithful. I want you to know that God is faithful. And even though your children may have gone, but God can find a way. He will always find a way of repaying you. So I just want you to know that we love you. Because you see, when things happen like this to people, they can be discouraged. I believe you prayed. I believe they did all kinds of things so sometimes you just need to minister comfort to people it's not just the issue of miracle these people are wounded emotionally to have lost a child please don't cry sir father can we stretch our hands to these people the way you pray for your own son your own daughter your own brother your own mother please pray from the depth of your heart father restore 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 now madam i release your children now in the name of jesus christ please help her carefully i decree and declare the same way job lost all his sons lost all his daughters lost his estate and the bible says god restored to job twice we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ with the authority vested upon us. And in the name of Jesus, we proclaim and we declare restoration. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. For your shame, you will receive double. In the name of Jesus. And even the things you did not pray for, I ask my God to give it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of jesus christ god bless you please carry your wife gently it is done huh? in jesus name i cost that fiber please carry her carefully and i declare that devil and that spirit i curse you out of this body in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please stretch your hands towards me anybody holding what should have entered your hand now in the name of Jesus Christ the God of heaven the giver of all good things I stretch my hands back to you and I declare that everything God has destined that must enter your hand whoever will be used by God to release it I compel them to release it to you now I compel them to release it to you now I compel them to release it to you I compel them to release it to you I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ And that night, I had
Lazarus could not sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and he opened the Chronicles and found where Mordecai had done something good and was not rewarded and he said who is in the chamber there and her man came he said what must be done to a man who has done this anyone you have shown mercy to in the past everybody whose life you have been part of and yet a reward has not come for you as this wind of mercy blows to your life i provoke strange rewards strange rewards in the name of jesus financial rewards rewards of lifting we open the book of remembrance by the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus and when mordecai said what should be done to the man he said quickly go and do the same for mordecai and they put him upon the king's chariot and he wore the robe of royalty and began to go around the city and they said bow the knee that everywhere you see him listen we're in strange seasons where god is marking his people and bringing a level of beauty and glory god is proving a point with his people to show that it pays to serve jesus because it looks like believers are having the same result with unbelievers unless the people in the world make the mistake of believing that god is a user and not a blesser god wants to move in this season everywhere there is darkness that's when the power of god begins to move it says and darkness was over the face of the deep and god said let there be light and isaiah said arise and shine even though there is darkness that gentiles will come to your light they are kings to the brightness of your rising it is not of him that willeth it is not of him that desires it is not even of him that can run but it is of the lord that showeth mercy a scripture that pastor oju shared here earlier this year very powerful scripture how that in sodom and gomorrah when the people came and were beckoning on the angels that they wanted to have the angels to themselves and lot was willing to give his daughters and the people said no is these angels we want the bible says they drew lot shut the door and struck the people with blindness and they wearied themselves in front of the door there was a door before them but the eyes to see it was not there one of the blessings of the mercy of god is the miracle of open eyes the grace to see what others are not seeing the grace to see what others are not seeing father every blindness that stops your people from seeing opportunities seeing relationships access to materials and resources that make for supernatural encounter i declare right now in the name of jesus may their eyes be opened supernaturally in the name of jesus i pray for you that as a result of this conference between now and the end of the year december step into dimensions you never thought you would step into dimensions more than your physical efforts in the name of jesus dimensions more than your qualification in the name of jesus the final thing i will do here i like us to stretch our hands and let's pray for lagos state let's pray for the government let's pray for all who continue to fight the pandemic we are responsible citizens and believers and the church are an advantage 
we are not antagonistic to what happens in society we are responsible contributors to nation building and we can lend our contribution with our voices we can lend our contribution as we ask the lord to step in so wherever you are in one minute lift your voice and pray pray for all the members of ncdc pray for everyone are you praying lift your voice and cry to the god of heaven lord empower them some of them do not have the time to spend with their families some of them continue to go around to see to it that this pandemic comes to an end let's lift up the cry of mercy father while we trust you and thank you because you are putting an end to this we pray we bless the lagos state government we bless all of the the people appointed for this noble task we pray that you will help them in the name of jesus as they go around doing their best as they go around ensuring that the purposes of god are established as far as the wellness of the citizens are concerned empower them keep them from sickness and lord we agree in the name of jesus that this pandemic is on its way out in the name of jesus we agree we continue to pray and enforce as the church of the lord jesus christ that you will not only bring this to an end but everything that people have lost the opportunities the time by your spirit you will restore in the name of the lord jesus by your spirit you will restore in the name of the lord jesus christ amen and amen and i pray for you every challenge you left at home to come here for this conference i agree with you standing on the grace of pastor shola and his wife and i decree and declare you return back and you encounter strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ fresh desire and passion for the things of god in the name of jesus fresh desire for prayer fresh desire for the word of god i pray for you for the gift of spiritual sensitivity you will know what the spirit is doing part time and you will not miss out on the program of god for any season everyone who is not a member of this church a pastor you are an ordained worker somewhere and you left all to come and stand and worship with this church may the grace upon this ministry rest upon you the honor you have shown the lord the honor you have shown pastor shola i decree and declare that god himself will reciprocate that honor to you your businesses your ministries in the name of jesus and finally i pray for you that the grace to continually show mercy the grace to be compassionate the grace to be tender-hearted the grace to forbear let that grace be released upon you in the name of jesus christ